Hi, I'm Megan Burt. I don't know where, but your eyes look familiar. I know that I've seen you before. I co-write as often as I can. I, I have a handful of people that I really love to co-write songs with. I have played Red Rocks before. Yeah, I, I've i actually played Red Rocks a handful of times. We are Megan Bird and the Cure for Love. You're a fine looking Red Rocks crowd, I must say. Red Rocks is the ultimate venue. Thank it's the most beautiful place in the world and the well, most special venue in the world. And hearing your voice reverberate back to you off of those rocks. There's just, there's nothing like it. It's very, it's almost, it's a spiritual experience for sure. <laughs> Getting to stand on, on the same stage that all of your heroes have played is also really special, very humbling. I need to work on my elevator speech for what my music is like, really. Americana feels like an all-encompassing genre, but I think Americana tends to be the genre that we all shove what we don't, you know, it's kind of like the undefined genre, just put it in Americana and you're good to go. I think singer-songwriter is certainly a genre. People don't really talk about that, but singer-songwriter is, to me, the genre where an artist who writes songs and has influences across the board writes songs and, and, and with influences pulled from jazz and folk and blues and rock and Americana and so I feel like I fit into that category. I'm understanding I'm a little shy at times that's not why I stay quiet and keep most things inside. I've played in maximum state security prisons for 10 years and I have some pretty crazy stories from that time. And I've been really, really lucky to play some amazing shows for artists, you know, opening for artists and on festival stages that have been really meaningful and bucket list gigs that it's like cool you know it's fun to watch your evolution as an artist and check off the bucket list things as you sort of keep on the train of your career <laughs> This is probably the hardest record I've ever made, in all honesty. Um, we all were very tried in multiple moments. And I think having the process, having to learn a new process of recording was just hard. It's just hard. You sort of show up every day humble and open and with your patient's pants on and we had many moments of like, uh, um, it was, it was hard. Was it love that I was always searching for, searching for, love that I was always searching for. I was excited to make this record from the very beginning because Gus invited me into his studio and played the Joni Mitchell Both Sides Now record and that's when we first started the conversation about making a DSD record 
And when I heard that recording and I'm cr ugly crying in front of a pretty much stranger, just mortified at my inability to hold it together of how beautiful that, that sound was, it really inspired what could be possible. And that in this platform, it would behoove me to try to make as beautiful a record as I could because people would hear it in a way that they wouldn't probably hear anything else that I've made. And that's what we efforted to do, is make a beautiful record. Was it love that I, was always searching for? I am proud of the songs and I'm proud of the work that all of us did to make it happen and I really hope that everyone will listen to it. So please <laughs> go to Octave Records and listen to what it sounds like to really um, pour, your, pour your heart and soul into a record. Mm -hmm.